Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in Spanish Town and we are giving you an update on this massive development taking place. Straight ahead is a 24 acre mega development. It's going to be the largest commercial development in Spanish Town. And we were informed that this development is sold out sold out now what you find with these developments is they build them and like that one that Sajikor built um, New Brunswick Village a lot of pension funds a lot of investors buy the units and then they turn around and rent them so that's what's happening here the units are sold out now some entities like banks, uh, there's mentioned a coffee store, I think a Juicy Patties is going over here, those were the early ones and the developers are putting up a gas station for themselves. The other units now totally sold out. That You can probably still get them to rent but you have to you rent them through the people who bought them. This reminds me of a saying, build it and they will come. This is what happens when you put up modern infrastructure. The same thing is happening by the Ferry Industrial Complex, also in St. Catherine. They develop the land, put in the infrastructure, and you find massive warehouses going up over there. Warehouses are moving out of Kingston into this area. And the same thing is happening here. You have so many so many people interested in 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 renting or buying the property here because it's modern infrastructure there you can see this used to be swampland or it used to have a problem when the wall when it when it rains look at how they have developed it you have to say job well done to the developers look at it They've put in the roads. I mean, if you notice, they haven't actually started the construction at the plaza yet. But it's totally sold out. Because you can see the development. Look at the roads. You can see the access to the facility. You can see the walls around it. So, it is definitely a development to watch. And across the road from here, and I think this is one of the reasons why it went so quickly... Is Bernard Lodge where they are going to be building 15,000 new homes they're going to build a city there and want to get out of Bernard Lodge I'm not sure if they're going to put in highway access but right now to get out of Bernard Lodge you have to one of the ways is to come out here onto this road turn left and you can go down into Spanish Town and you can also access highway 2000 North South Lake turn right you go into Kingston prime location when it comes on to a development like this it comes down to location and this is definitely going to be one of the top developments in Jamaica so we're going to go through an article that gives more information on this Spanish Town is experiencing a surge of development as long dormant warehouses and factory spaces are being revitalized by investors and entrepreneurs. Among the most notable projects is a large-scale commercial development on 24 acres of land at the intersection of White Church Street and Spanish Town Bypass and the Spanish Town Bypass. Once swampland, once swamp land, the property is being transformed by Marbella Holdings after its acquisition for 658 million last year. Truckloads of marl were deposited and th the land was prepared for the development. The development will include major businesses such as a Quartz Jamaica location, an auto parts store, a bank and a coffee shop. In addition, the developers are planning to build a gas station, minimat and food court. So that is the end of the update article. So this is definitely one of the more one of the bigger developments taking place in Spanish though. 
so we will keep you guys updated on this development but i'm really impressed with the way the developers went about doing this you can see the infrastructure people can see what they're getting even though they haven't started the construction of the actual buildings totally sold out all right guys leave your comments in the section below let us know what you think all right guys have a good day